Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, she is here. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Tati Beauty Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. So if you want to see how I got this look and kind of my first impressions, first time messing around with this beauty, then just keep watching. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on because this is going to be like a pure first impressions. I don't do these types of videos very often on my channel because I love to give kind of my full in-depth experience using the palettes and all my collected thoughts, but I feel like this moment was so special that I actually wanted to capture it on camera, like my very first first impressions. So that's why we're doing it this style today. Obviously, I mean, I'm sure you guys have already heard and are aware of the palette. I'm sure the majority of you have already probably ordered it but I love Tati. I don't necessarily agree with everything that she does but as a beauty channel I think she's phenomenal at what she does. I think she's a really smart businesswoman. So I really do genuinely feel like she put all of her hard work and thought into this palette and that she wasn't going to release anything horrible. So that I forgot to mention about the whole ordering process was that it did go very smooth. I wasn't in a waiting line for too long. Um, my heart was pumping, but <laughs> it was really easy and painless. And so Tati ordered enough stock. She is awesome. Like she did not screw that one up like a lot of other brands have in the past. I think even her reveal video was incredible. I love how open she was about who made it, which by the way, it is Seed Beauty, which also makes KKW Beauty, ColourPop, and Kylie Cosmetics, which I think is really cool because one, it's made in the USA, and two, they make good quality eyeshadows, so I knew that this was going to be good. And sometimes I feel like people don't understand that just because it's made in the same factory doesn't mean it's the same formula. I don't know too much about makeup manufacturing, but I do know that there are only so many factories like part of the business is that each factory does cater to multiple businesses so the fact that she went to a factory that already has brands is completely normal it does not mean it's the same formula so that whole thing never crossed my mind it just I feel like sometimes people don't realize that it's a very normal thing in the makeup industry so anyways let me stop professing my love and admiration for Tati let's get into this beauty so this is 48 dollars it is currently sold out but you can pre-order it it says online on her website which you can only get it at tatibeauty.com pre-order now to reserve your palette from the december restock and receive a guaranteed shipping by december 15th which is perfect if you want to get it for somebody as a gift i did purchase this myself i did order expedited shipping because i wanted to review it for you guys and so this is what it came in it just came in a regular black box and then you open it and then you have Tati who of course is so gorgeous. I think this is really cute packaging. I love that the box is like decorated and made with love. And then it came packaged pretty well. And then you have the palette. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw the initial photos, I was like, <clears throat> Morphe. <laughs> and I say that because it was like all sleek black packaging and then circular inside. And I was like, that really looks like it could be a Morphe palette. But I mean, it is made in the USA. Most Morphe palettes are made in China. Now that I have it in my hands, it is totally different than a Morphe palette. The product itself feels like it's good quality, which I was gonna be very disappointed if it was like a Morphe palette, but just even from picking this up, I can tell it's not a Morphe palette. It is $48 and I do think that is a very fair price. You are getting a lot of different shadows. And honestly, if Tati had put the price up more, I wouldn't be surprised, but I think 48 is a really good price just giving her demographic of followers. She has people all over the board and she dabbles into all different types of makeup, whether it be luxe or complete drugstore. So I think this is a very fair price point for her and her audience. So here's the unicart in. It just comes right out. It has Tati Beauty on it. And then you have the actual palette. It's a little bit rubberized. If you have a Vizzy Art palette, it's similar feeling to a Vizzy Art palette. And it feels very, very sturdy. And it says volume one. So that leads me to believe there will be more volumes of this type of palette. But yeah, it, it feels like a good quality palette. And then you open it up and you have a sturdy, heavy mirror. You know how sometimes mirrors can feel a little bit flimsy or like they're coming off? Like this is a nice, heavy duty, thick mirror. And let's see, oh, 
and she's a good mirror too at that. And then of course you are going to reveal the shades. It's an all neutral palette, which I think is perfect for Tati. She always loves a good neutral and she has these glitters on top, which is all Tati all the way. So some people were disappointed from this color scheme. Honestly, I think it's gorgeous. And these are colors that people are going to love and use. I know for me, this is like speaking to me. And the layout of the palette I think is very neat. I love palettes like this. It's designed completely monochromatically. So there are four layers of different textures and then also six columns of different tones all in the neutral family. And not each shade has a name. The way she does it is she labels it by the finish that the eyeshadow is and then by the name of the whole tone. So if I was to use this shade for example, it'd be Sequin Poet. So a lot of people said they hadn't seen a layout or like a concept like this before. I love concepts like this. I have a palette. Let me see if I can find it. Now these are completely different, but it's like a similar idea. These NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette, where again, it's organized by tone and then you have three different finishes of that tone. So I have seen products similar to that. Obviously it hasn't been executed like this one, but just a similar idea. So I have seen that before and I was always attracted to these because I loved this concept. So when I saw Tati was doing that, I was like, yes, this is amazing. So let's get into some live swatches so that we can really explore in this palette. So we are going to swatch by finish. By the way, ignore my nails. I don't have enough time to get them done. So just let it be. I know they're growing out. I just need to get them shaped. We're gonna start off with mattes. So, so we're gonna start off with Poet. Okay, so instantly, as you can see, there was a little bit of fallout there. So she was a little chunky. That was like a terrible swatch. But, ooh, so we do have some pigment. But just keep in mind, we did have a little bit of fallout there. This is Aura. Again, a little bit of kickback, but nothing crazy. So a lot of times with the shadows that, that clump up like that, uh, that means they're really, really soft, but it still is very smooth and buttery. This is Soothe. This is a great transition shade. Beautiful. I should line them up to the palette more, huh? Now we're gonna go with Story, which is more warm. Again, a lot of kickback coming up from that. We have Ritual. Don't tell me I'm a bad swatcher. I know I am, okay? These browns are so necessary. I'm so happy she has a whole row of them. And then we have Memory, which, whew, that's a very nice pigmented black. So that is what the matte row is looking like. And they seem very smooth. Just be careful because it looks like when you put a brush in, there's gonna be some kickback. So this next formula is the sequin formula. And this type of formula, I'm normally not very partial to. It's like more of a matte with some shimmers and glitters embedded into it. And a lot of times for shades like these, you will find that the glitters just kind of rub away and then you're just left with a matte shade. So I'm not quite sure how to feel about this formula. A lot of times they have similar formulas in Too Faced palettes and they're kind of useless. So this one, this purpley one from Poet has some like blue reflex in it. These seem to have a little bit more glitters than normal shades like these do, which I think will make it better. And then we have Aura. This one has more gold reflex. Ooh, that one's really pretty. By swatch, these are really pretty. I don't know how pretty they will be on the eye. So this is Sue that has some golden shimmers in it. So this looks like it's literally the exact same matte shade, just with some glitters in there. Let's do Story. This one is like a pumpkin color with some gold reflex. And then Ritual, some gold reflex. And then Memory, which has some silver. Ooh, that's pretty. That could make a really neat smoky eye. So hopefully you can really truly see these shimmers embedded in the shade. Super stunning. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the metallic side. I feel like these are gonna be amazing. I have high expectations because Tati loves her metallic shades. So let's start off with Poet, which is more of a pinky cranberry shade. Very pretty, not giving up maybe as much glimmer as I had hoped for. Aura, 
This is such a necessary shade for like an inner corner highlight. Again, not super impressed with how these are swatching. Um, they're really nice, but just knowing Tati, I think a little bit will bam bam would be nice. But if you use these wet, I'm sure you can really get that bam in there. Story, this color looks incredible. Ooh, that's really pretty. This peachy golden shade. Then we have Ritual, a bronzy brown. This is gonna be stunning for a bronze smoky eye. And then Memory. So this one in particular feels a little bit more creamy and thick. Ooh, this is stunning. So let me give you guys a close up on that, these. So these shimmers are really, really pretty. I wouldn't say they're knocking my socks off by any means, but we'll have to see how they perform on the eye. Okay, so the last row, of course, is the one that I'm most excited for, the glitter row. This is totally totty. I'm so excited about this. It's about to get everywhere, though. So this glitter, of course, Poet, is the most stunning, and it is very soft to touch. Oof really pretty. Now, these I'm interested to see if you need a glitter glue with them. This Aura one is incredible. It has like blue and gold and so many different color reflex. I will be doing close-ups so you can see when I'm done swatching. Then we have a gold one. I'm very impressed with how these are swatching for pressed glitters. Story, which is your more orangey one. Mm, it has like pink and yellow reflex in there. Then we have Ritual. Really pretty bronzy color. Then let's dig into Memory. This is gonna be killer in an all black smoky eye. So take a closer look. I mean, that's everything, is it not? Wow. So I forgot to film like a transition for this segment. <laughs> so the video is about to abruptly just go to my eye tutorial. So we went with the swatches. Now we're going to see how it applies to the eyeballs. So it is time to move on to actually trying these beauties out. So I have applied MAC Painterly Paint Pot all over my eyelid. And now let's dig in. So I want to do a look that I'm pretty comfortable with and also able to try all of the formulas with. So we're going to start off with some of the matte soothe shade. And we are going to apply that as our basic transition shade. So I did get a little bit of pickup in the pans with the brush as I stated what happened earlier. But this is the perfect transition color for my skin tone. It has a touch of warmth to it. This is a Wayne Goss number 16 brush, by the way, in case you are curious. But I mean, that got the job done. <laughs> so now I'm going to take a little bit of the matte aura shade and we're going to just apply that right underneath our brow bone. So that has a good amount of pigment to it. I love that she added a cream shade. Cream shades do not get enough love. Just gonna brighten underneath my eyebrow with that. So let's play with the sequin formula. So let's try some of the ritual sequin. The sequin also has some kick up. I'm gonna pat that right in the outer corner. So what I'm interested in seeing with this formula is if the glitters stay or if they blend away to become a matte. And in that case, it's just like, why have a matte and a sequin formula? I don't know if you can tell though, but that just blended like a dream. Holy cow. So the blending on that was incredible. Sorry, I didn't move you in closer, but I will say there is a bit of that shimmer still embedded into the color, but for the most part, it looks pretty matte. I also have like no fallout of glitters, by the way, which is awesome. So I think if you want that sequiny formula, if you apply it with your finger all over the lid, it is going to leave that glimmer there. But if you do use a blending brush like I just did, that is what is going to kind of blend those glitters away. They're still somewhat there, but I think the best way to apply it to get the most out of the glitters is just to put it all over the eyelid, but blended super dreamy. So we are going to warm this look up. So I'm going to take just a little bit of the matte story color on a blending brush. All I'm doing is I'm just patting this right where that brown stops and just a touch to add some general warmth to the look. See how that added Thanksgiving vibes right there. So trying out the metallic formula, let's dig into Ritual, which is the bronzy color. I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. 
Now this look, keep in mind, is more so just to try out all of the different formulas. I will probably do an update video on this palette all together with different looks so you can get some inspiration. But just initially trying the formulas, this metallic is super pretty. It applied really smooth with a brush. I didn't even need to use a finger and I applied full pigment. So these are not super metallic. They're a softer shimmer, but it, that is super stunning. So I'm gonna wet my brush just to see if that brightens everything up. So I'm gonna dig into the Soothe color, which is more golden, and we're gonna spray my brush. Okay, yeah, so instantly that took everything up a notch. So if you do want that super metallic color, just wet the brush. Oh my gosh, this look, by the way, is everything. So now we're gonna create just a little bit of an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna use the metallic aura shade right here. Perfect, I'm so happy she added this color in as well. Gosh, I love this whole cream roll. It, it was so necessary. I'm running some of the matte shades that I use underneath. This look itself is absolutely stunning and up my alley, but you know we gotta add some glitter. I wanna use it without a glitter glue to really see what it can do. So I want it to be a little bit more golden. So we're gonna use the shimmer from the Soothe. All you have to do is pat very lightly and you get a lot. I'm gonna start that off just everywhere, never mind. Okay, so without a glitter glue, it seems to be sticking very well and it's scattered pretty well too so if you want more of a scattered effect just very very lightly press on the top and you will get all that you need i really like this pressed formula i'm going to say that the best way to apply this is with a finger but you can get away with a brush let me put just a touch of that also like down here just because glitter okay here's a close-up of the shadow, super stunning. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and we will be back for the final thoughts. All right, so I'm back, here is the final look. I feel like this is a very totty kind of look. She loves glittery, neutral kind of looks and honestly, I'm loving it. So one thing that I did additionally off camera was I took the matte black shade and I lined my upper lash line with it before lashes and I've got to say, it is a really amazing black. It was super black on my eye, very pigmented and it didn't go grayish, which was really good. So, so far from what I can tell, that black matte shadow is a good one. Uh, something also worth noting is that the glitter shades on the back of the unicarton, it says not intended for use in the immediate eye area. I mean, that's not surprising. Most pressed glitters say the same thing, so maybe do so at your own risk. I think it's worth the risk. I think it's really pretty. I will update you guys down in the comments letting you know if they fell out throughout the day and if I think adding a glitter glue would help with that. But overall, I mean, this is a really fabulous palette. I think for $48, it is a great value given all the shimmers and shades that you have to work with. I think this is a phenomenal color story. I know a lot of people think it's boring, but honestly, this is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to start off a brand. You're getting a range of different textures to play with, but you also have these basic colors. No matter what other colors Tati comes out with, she has these to rely on. This is the basic palette that everybody needs before you get into the fun stuff. From what I can tell, everything blended beautifully. Everything had a great pigmentation to it and just the application overall was extremely easy. All of the shades blended great. They showed up on the eyelid how they looked in the pan. The pressed glitter formula was quite impressive and very easy to work with because sometimes pressed glitters can be a little bit more difficult to work with and so far I am loving this palette. These are my colors. These are my textures. I am definitely going to get a lot of use out of this palette and I don't know for $48 this is such a good value. I look forward to playing with this palette more and updating you guys. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do so so that you can hear about my updates because I might just do a separate tutorial video creating looks with this palette. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below about this palette and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.